Hi guys, it's Manik from EarlyLearningMom.com. I just thought I'd come and show you um, two, this is actually two hauls from two um, thrift stores that I went and visited this weekend. One, oh, actually both of them are um, MCC thrift stores, um, but we went to one in our city and another one out in Steinbach. So I will just start showing you we got another one of the Let's Talk About series. You know, if you guys have watched my videos before, you know I love Joe Bear, Joy Berry books. This one's Let's Talk About Gossiping. We also like this series, um, Wes and I read these, it's Read and Find Out Science. And this one is An Octopus is Amazing. I also found the Parent's Guide to First Steps to Reading. You may have seen um, a week or two ago I posted about the ABC or an A book, a B book series that I purchased at a garage sale. I've been trying to collect the whole collection, but um, you know, picking up a book here or there at garage sales or a thrift store, but this woman had the entire series. Well, I was at the thrift store and I found the entire Parent's Guide, so I grabbed that for 25 cents. We also grabbed this Robert Munch book. I never actually heard of this one. It is Stephanie's Ponytail, so we grabbed that. I Care About Others, which is the Be the Best I Can Be series. I Want My Potty. The Backyard Again, Say Please, a book about manners. So we always want to read about manners and instill some things in the little guide. Um, we also got a first book of do's and don'ts, and I really like this one. I was flipping through it. It talks about um, things like kids, the dinosaurs. What does it, uh, what do dinosaurs do? Dinosaurs do eat their breakfast. Dinosaurs don't crumb, spill crumbs on the floor. And it just goes back and forth, you know. Um, dinosaurs do keep their bedrooms neat. Dinosaurs don't leave their toys all over the floor. So we really like this. Um, comparing it does um, you know opposites as well as teaching um, good and bad I'm not bad that's probably the way to put it but good and not ideal things to be for children to be doing as well we found another ABC book for our alphabet collection and then humbug potions an ABC book which was I thought was really cute and we also picked up, Wes loves these uh, fact books. So this is A Thousand Facts You Just Won't Believe, and it's by Discovery Kids. I like these books. I got a couple of them, and I have a few in my library. They're just um, a bunch of short stories, and I thought these would be great um, reader books um, when the time comes. Either we can read through them with Wes, or we can read them with um, Z. And so this one is Good Morning Sunshine. I thought they were great curriculum. And I remember reading these when I was a kid or using them as like a language arts textbook. And when we got When the Wind Blows, I also got this um, unit study kit on Friends. We got this math book, grade one. It's just a workbook. And I thought I would grab that just because um, you can never have too many workbooks and especially with Z starting um, ABA will be having to pull out things and this one was 50 cents and it had a green sticker so it was 75% off so that was a cheap one. These were other textbooks that um, I remember using as a child, a child um, journeys and their stories and all sorts of lessons. So I grabbed the Journey Springboards 4 and Springboard 6 and I figured Wes is in 5 but we maybe we'd read through four and then if I can't find five by then we'll just jump ahead to six. So those were great. I also found all these little phonic re readers. They were only five cents a piece. Um, they, we got, ha they're the Scholastic Phonics Boosters and we paid, yeah like I said we paid five cents and there we got Happy Cats, Glad Fish, Sad Fish, Dogs, 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 The Three Bears, Who Says Moo, you're gonna have to ignore Lil Z serenading us in the background. The ants go marching, a lot of legs, penguin pal, monkeys see, monkeys do, big pig, and I think we have big pig, but I'm not 100% sure where it is, so I figured for five cents we'd just keep the whole collection together. 
We also had Playtime, which is a sight reading, uh, a sight words reader. And we got another Troll First Start Science, and this one's about weather. They love these books. And you may have seen in one of my other videos, we talked um, about the series. I had found a couple, um, Safety, and this one's on street proofing. Um, basically being safe in, when you're out and about. And I just really like this series, Never Go for a Ride with a Stranger. Um, check with your parents before taking a gift from anyone you don't know. So this was a great um, series. And so I was excited to find another one, especially for the cheap price of 25 cents. And then we found this book and it's a little rougher condition than I usually like to pick up books in, but it's the Hershey's Kisses edition book. And I figured, you know what, we can make it work. And moving over here, we got the big kids, a diary of a wimpy kid, cabin fever and A Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Third Wheel. Um, we have the box set, but these two are not in that set. So I thought for 75 cents, I know uh, my stepdaughter's aunt paid a lot more than 75 cents a book. So I grabbed these. Are you pretending to have juice? Little Z's playing with his kitchen stuff downstairs. We're in the daycare area right now. But it's a holiday, so he has the whole place to himself. And okay, so back to what we were talking about. We got the ABC Toy Chest book. It's um, by Sesame Street. And basically, you know, he's going through his toy chest and pulling out all sorts of stuff. And I like that they, it seems to be in this series, like B is barbell. You know, a lot of them stick with the bear or banana. They are throwing in some newer words. Goula, gola, goulashes, sorry, I can't talk today. Goulashes and iron, you know, just some different words. So that was a great find. I also found the Random House book of easy to read stories. And there's some Dr. Seuss stories. There's the Berenstein Bears. Um, you know, there's just a bunch here. And so I thought, you know what, this might be good for Little Z's curriculum when we're figuring out his, which books we're gonna be reading this year. You know, it just, 16 great books right here in a nice hardcover book. Um, it's just something nice to leave on his bedstand so we can have it ready and being accessible right to him. So I grabbed this one. This is something I was really excited about. I've been always meaning to print out the different countries' flags and just never got around because it takes so much ink. Well, I found this book for with all sorts of flags for two dollars and i believe the blue stickers had 25 percent or it may have been 50 percent either 25 or 50 percent anyhow it would have cost me a lot more than that even the full two dollars i would have paid even if it wasn't on sale so this is great flashcard material um that we can go through with little z and we can also do some um map rec uh flag recognition with uh wes as well so i grabbed that and the last thing I'm going to show you guys is this Tune Car Road Trip. And we're going on a road trip this summer. And I thought this would be a great book to read with Little Z. And when I'm buying musical books secondhand, I always make sure they have a loud speaker. So that way I know the battery is quite fresh and I don't have to worry um, about it dying right away. So this was a 50 cent book. So that is it for my MCC um, thrift store find. I did get a bunch of other books from the first MC I went to here in Winnipeg that I actually got outside at the farmer's market for free. But that is another video because that is two huge bags full. So stay tuned. Watch and I will be posting that video hopefully in the next few days. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, please. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and check out my blog, www.earlylearningmom.com. Thanks for watching.